Hey guys, Sandy Sun here. I'm bringing you some uh, potentially uh, very exciting news. Um, mm -hmm. I was browsing uh, pretty late last night, and uh, on a side note, I, I do apologize for posting uh, three times in a single day. I tried spacing them out, but I guess I just had a lot to say yesterday. But uh, anyway, getting back to the subject at hand, I was doing some browsing around the other day, and I uh, found something uh, potentially interesting about uh, being able to go to Japan. So um, I'll tell you how I found it. By let's let's go to my laptop. Okay, right now I'm on the, uh, the University of Finley's website. As you can see, it's my lovely 17-inch monitor. Okay, and uh, I basically just searched for a study abroad. Right there, you can't really see it. And I go to the first search result right here, which is University of Finley uh, hyphen study abroad. And then it has like a basic little thing of somebody in Jordan, another person in Ecuador, um, that sort of thing. Uh, basically, what you want to go to is the bottom, it says programs. It has like UF programs, faculty-led programs. Let's zoom in on that. I'm going to go around this section. You want to go to the affiliate programs. And that will get you to this little page right here. Now, this page has nothing to do with Japan. It has a bunch of other um, excellent study abroad programs, like there's stuff for London and things like that, which I would be definitely interested in if I was going to someplace other than Japan. But sticking with the subject at hand, which is Japan, we're going to go with CCIS, which is the short for the College Consortium for International Studies. Give that a little click. click. And um, we want to go over here to where it says, uh, where would you like to study? Go in Asia, second one down. And it has semester pro programs in uh, Nanjing, China, I think I pronounced that right, Bangalore, India, Tokyo, Japan. They also have summer programs for uh, Shanghai, Bangalore, and Tokyo. But um, since I want to spend more than the summer in Japan, uh, we're just going to click on the regular semester program for Tokyo, Japan. And it brings up this interesting little window. Um, I don't know if you can read the text. I'm just going to try to zoom out so you can see the whole thing. Um, it, says, it outlines uh, a school called the KCP International Language Institute. Um, it was founded in 1983, and it's lo located in Shinjuku, which, uh, for people who uh, know a little bit about Japan, um, it's basically that place that was in Lost in Translation. It's, um, as it says here, the business and entertainment and shopping center of Tokyo. Insanely expensive to live there. Marty Friedman lives there, as do a lot of uh, uh, Japanese celebrities, just because it's, it's kind of uh, the Japanese equivalent of Hollywood, I guess you could say. Anyway, it says the KCB campus is a short walk from Shinjuku, Gionmei Station, on the Merinji, uh, the subway line, I think I'm pronouncing it right, sorry if I'm butchering them. Uh, from there, a student has access to such Tokyo landmarks and attractions as the Japanese government buildings, Shinjuku and Yogi Parks, which uh, a lot of uh, Hanami festivals are done there. Uh, Meiji Shrine, Tokyo Tower, and popular student destinations including Shibuya, which is where uh, Danny Chu, also known as the Tokyo Stormtrooper, did his little famous thing, and there's Harajuku, which is a place where you can buy a bunch of clothes and stuff. Uh, the institute has been featured in many publications throughout Asia and is recognized as a leader in Japanese education. Okay, and it basically just gives a quick little overview of what it would take for you, or in this case me, to actually go there. And it says, uh, students take courses in intensive Japanese language training. So um, this is a bit different from taking like a normal college class. You're taking uber intensive Japanese. Uh, be beginning to advanced, which I like, it's not just something for somebody who knows a little about Japanese. It's straight from ground zero to uh, JLPT number one, which uh, for those who don't know, JLPT is a test of Japanese competency, which is debated by some people online, but is basically a general test for people who don't, uh, who, where Japanese is not their native language. It's a test to see how well they know Japanese. And one is the highest ranking. It goes from four to one, four being the lowest, and one being the highest. And a lot of with the KCP International Language Institute, as I'll outline later, it, one of its main goals would be to get you fr to uh, JLPT level one. So it's definitely pretty darn intensive. Uh, anyway, continuing on with the reading, students take courses in intensive Japanese language training, beginning through advanced, and Japanese culture and civilization. Students interested in summer study abroad in Tokyo should see the list of summer program options. It's basically like this, but uh, only for the summertime. For room and board, students have two options, which is homestay, where I'm assuming you stay with the Japanese family, and it includes breakfast and dinner, or dormitory, where uh, meals and utilities are not included, you have to actually pay out of pocket for that sort of thing. Um, also, a 2.5 GPA on a 4.0 scale is required, as are two letters of recommendation, freshman through senior standing, and minimum age of 18. Now, the freshman through senior standing, I'm a little confused about that. I don't know if they mean, like, I have to graduate high school, or, or what? I'm, I'm a little confused about that. Um, it could be just a little bit of lost uh, in translation kind of dealios, but um, enough of that. Let's go to the actual KCP website, which I'll have loaded up here, which we'll get rid of. Um, so let's just select the language. Uh, we'll go with Ego, English. <laughs> And it just gives, it's actually pretty nicely done as far as the English. There's only, there's only a couple um, phrases, although they're really important, that I'm kind of confused about, as we'll get to here in a sec. Um, let's just go with, uh, under the course tab, we'll go with uh, general. So let's see, it says right there, let me zoom in on that. Under the descriptions, so it clears up. Um, course applicants would be uh, those who wish to pass JLPT, which stands for Japanese Language Proficiency Test, level one, which is the highest rank you can get. Um, those who wish to acquire general linguistic skills of reading, writing, speaking, and listening to Japanese. Um, those who have a good, right, those who have a good, or those who have a goal, sorry, of enrolling in a Japanese technical school, 
uh, in which to acquire Japanese skills um, t in advance of taking the school courses. So basically, if you just don't want to take Japanese for four years and want to uh, learn it really, really quick, is what I'm getting from it. Um, those who have a goal of enrolling in a Japanese university slash graduate school in which to take subjects other than Japanese as optional sessions. Um, those who took Japanese as a major at their university back home slash already passed the LPT level one in which to improve their Japanese communication skills and require a higher level of proficiency that can be applied to a career as an interpreter slash translator. So they even go beyond the JLPT, which I think is a uh, um, which I think I said that wrong. But anyway, um, those who are dispatched from companies as trainees and are not taking other special KCP courses. And uh, the qualifications for entrance, it's a little confusing, but I think it made a bit more sense before. Okay, the application or applicants, I'm sorry, must have finished 12 years or longer of official education in their home countries or have an academic background equivalent to graduate from senior high school. So you just basically have to graduate high school. Just want to get from that. Um, the applicant must be eligible to receive a certificate of eligibility to enter Japan. Now, see, that's the confusing part. I don't know if they mean um, I have to get like a passport, which I know I do if I have to enter Japan, of course. Um, I have to like, get a background check. Um, I'm not really sure what they mean by this. Uh, but anyway, number three is the applicant must have a reliable guarantor, which I'm assuming is for you know the pay stuff. Um, I don't know exactly how we get that. Um, that's something I have to discuss. But anyway, the admissions process, one line. Applicants need to pass documentary uh, elimination in order to be accepted into the course, which I'm assuming is like background checks and that sort of thing. Um, class subjects would be Japanese, Japanese social situations, and Japanese cultural experience. Class hours are Monday through Friday, which is roughly 20 hours a week. There's a morning class, which starts at 9 it starts at 9 a.m. and uh, works till about 12:15 uh, in the afternoon. And there's an afternoon class from uh, 1:30 in the afternoon till 4:45. And there's also a, a co-curricular classes, which I guess are like after-school classes, that start um, at 12:30 in the afternoon to 1:15 uh, in the afternoon. Those consist of a tea ceremony, kodo, which is a uh, it's a very unique instrument to Japan. It it sounds like a piano, but is played almost like a harp. People equip, uh, compare it to the uh, like a Japanese harp, although to me it sounds like a piano, even though it's plucked instead of tapped, like a piano is. But semantics, semantics. Um, conversation class, school newspaper clubs, etc. So I'm pretty gosh darn pumped to say the least about all this. Um, what would this mean for me? Well, basically what I would do is I would only have to take a couple classes at uh, almost community college in order to boost my GPA to uh, pass the 2.5 level which should only take me like probably a semester, I believe. And uh, after that, I'm gonna talk with the University of Finley. Of, uh, see, it's affiliated with them. I could go to uh, the KCB school directly, but I'd prefer to go with the uh, University of Finley to help back me up just because they're affiliated with it, so they're familiar with the program. They kind of know what's going on a bit more than I do. And obviously I have some questions, like the whole uh, certificate to enter Japan. What does that mean? I don't know if that means like, if it's for strictly graduates, but it did say, you know, you have to be at least 18 years old to enter, so I don't know if they're talking about like super duper college graduate prodigies, like get the degree when they're 12 or something. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of questions that I want answered, uh, hopefully by the University of Finley, who's affiliated with this program. And uh, so, uh, there's been a bit of a change of uh, life plans. Um, basically, um, I'm still gonna try to get a job because uh, I got a thing from unemployment saying that um, I'm unel uneligible for unemployment at this time. I did send a letter of appeal so they're outlining my situation, but um, in the event that I still won't be able to get unemployment, I'm still going to be searching around for jobs uh, in the local area. After, I've, uh, after I have a job, I'm going to start saving up in order to move out to my own place. But um, judging from this information, I don't know if I'll be in the area for an entire year, so I'm a little concerned about that. I don't know if I should uh, try to find a, a short-term lease place where instead of leasing for a year, I could lease for like six months or something and maybe get like a three-month extension. Something like that, because I'll be here for a long amount of time, but I don't think I'll be here for an entire year, or at least I plan to be. So um, that's just a little something to think about. Um, but anyway, going back to the plan, um, get a job, find like a short-term like apartment or something with like a six to nine-month lease instead of a, a full 12 months. Um, once I've gotten that, uh, sign up to take a classes at Owens Community College. I won't even have to take a very large uh, course load either. I'll just probably have to take like basic English and math, which is what I was planning to do from the very, very beginning. So it wouldn't be that new to me. Um, after I've passed those classes and uh, raised my GPA to uh, 2.5 or above, hopefully above, but at least 2.5, then I will talk with the University of Finley about this uh, program to sign up for the KCB, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to go to Japan. Uh, that program is, uh, I believe, if I look at it real quick, it is a, uh, oh wow, it's actually a two-year program. They have uh, lesser programs where you can go for like one and a half years and stuff, but um, it's actually a two-year program. I didn't know that. I thought it was just for a year. Wow. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, if I uh, get approved for all that, file the paperwork, uh, get loan well not loans, but uh, financial aid, hopefully some grants will be able to help cover the expenses. Um, and if all fails, just pay off all my Sally May stuff so I can draw out more loans, which uh, I think is only up to like 360, maybe 400 bucks, which sounds like a lot, and it is. 
but this is a good investment and I really want to go through with it. So I'm really, really excited. I, I didn't even really know about this. So um, I'm going to try to pursue it as much as I can. And uh, I see that I've been ranting for a very long time. So um, I'll just end it here. Um, this is Andy San, signing off for now. Wishing uh, you guys an excellent day. Oh, by the way, um, if you've been going to my uh, the Andy San account, I still don't have any videos up on it yet, but I'm going to be uploading uh, my first video today. So today will be another uh, two, po two post day, because I'll be posting this vlog, as well as uh, my very first uh, video from my Andy San account, which was uh, Ben's Karate Ponage. Uh, the best, probably the best five seconds you'll ever spend, I think. Um, so I look forward to that. Uh, once again, this is Andy San, signing off for now. Hope you guys are having an excellent day, and uh, I won't uh, I won't be uploading videos or any vlogs on Thursday because that's when my stepdad comes. So um, I'll be resuming either on Sunday or Monday. So I'm not sure how this week's Twitter Thursday throwdown will work. I'll try to uh, get it scheduled, but uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, this is Anson. Sign off for now. You guys have an excellent day. See ya.